This year, the 34th International Snow Sculpture Contest was held here in Adori Park. 17 teams from all over the world competed, including a team from Portland. After four days and nights of a lot of hard work and a lot of fun, Team Hong Kong took home the prize. Hong Kong team is Team Hong Kong. Now Hong Kong won. Right. But you guys you guys had a really nice sculpture. What were some of your favorites? Hong Kong. What were your best memories? Well, I think uh, making friends and meeting a lot of different cultures and uh, just hanging out with the people and having a really great time with a lot of talented people. My best friend. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, you've come and meet. Have you been to Portland? Uh, no. You should come to Portland. Well, yeah, I wish I could one day. <laughs> what was your best memory of the, of the festival? Well, meeting all these guys. We can uh, bond it together. The, the sculptures were amazing. Your sculpture was fantastic. It turned out very well, Team Thank Portland. You. I was very proud of you guys. Congratulations on an awesome competition. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. There are three venues in which you can view the ice and snow carvings at the Sapporo Snow Festival. Adore Park, Satoland, and Susakino. And the only way to do Susakino is by night. Disney. Clearly alive and well in Japan and clearly one of the more popular sculptures. Susakino is where the ice sculptures happen, and this happens to be my favorite ice sculpture because my good friend Trey Hillman, coach of the Nippon Ham Fighters, Hillman's son, was coach of the world champion Nippon Ham Fighters right here from Sapporo. They didn't just win the World Series, folks. They won everything. They won the Asia Championships. They are the best team in the world. Congratulations to Sapporo. Congratulations to Trey, Hillman's son, and all of the Nippon Ham Fighter fans. Julie, we miss you, and this one's for you. Even in Sapporo, you gotta wait in line for bars. But they're ice bars. The ice bar. We love it. Okay, so we're in Susakino. We came across this little house back here, and the guy handed me this menu here. It says it's got hot cocoa, hot whiskey, hot wine, and there's like a TV in there with like a karaoke machine or something. I have no idea, but uh, come on, I'm game. Let's check it out. Oh, it's karaoke, all right. <laughs> so they got karaoke, you got some drinks, you got a nice house. What more do you need? Okay, so we didn't know what the last place was, and we got a bonus there. That was good. So this place has got to be as good. It's green, and it's Bailey's. So I'm guessing there's Bailey's in there and maybe more karaoke. I don't know. Come on. Coffee? Milk? Bailey's coffee. Hi. Arigato. Bailey's coffee. It's cold. It's snowing. Perfect. Costs 200 yen, which is under two bucks. Come by. We're kind of digging this whole ice sculpture thing in Susakino because it's basically turning into a bar hop 
from ice house to ice house to ice house. Ice house. <laughs> I don't understand, but it doesn't matter. I'll have it. Arigato gozaimasu. How would you describe the Sapporo Snow Festival to our friends back in America? It's like a big festival. Just people get together and uh, having fun. That's what it's all about. Every, all around the world, all around the festivals world. are all about people getting together yeah, and having fun. Having fun. Come yeah. by. Come by.